Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday to you. Today we want to talk about what happens when we read a devotional. And you may think about your devotional books as being, um, you know, something that has a little bit of a description, interpretation about the word, it has maybe a few scriptures on it. There are thousands of books out there that you can use to understand what the scripture is saying and to just take a little time, maybe each morning, maybe each evening, maybe over lunch, to just sit with God for a minute in the Word. And sometimes what happens to us is that we can get in a habit of just checking the box, saying, nope, we read that, we read that devotion, and just sort of let it pass us by. And um, maybe, maybe the scripture that we're reading or that's in that devotional is, is familiar to us and we think we know what that's saying because we've heard it before and we might just not take it super seriously. And that happens over time, the more familiar we get with the word. But something else can happen in our devotional time. And Hebrews 4, 12 speaks to this. It says, for the word of God is alive and powerful. It's sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our inmost thoughts and desires. Those are some pretty extreme words here. Um, it cuts between soul and spirit. It, cuts between joint and marrow. That sounds kind of painful. You know, we know our bodies are made of joints and marrow and other things. Um, the word of God cuts us. It exposes our inmost thoughts and desires. <laughs> Not many of us want to be exposed. But think about the God we follow. Actually, verse 13 says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before him and his eyes. And he is the one to whom we are accountable. But when we think about this God, this God who loves us so much, being exposed before him who has sacrificed himself for us, maybe that's not a bad thing. And maybe when I come to the word every day, it's an opportunity to be exposed, not to take something away um, from the scripture, but maybe to reinterpret my life based on what it's saying. Um, whether it's a story that maybe I'm relating to from one of the people of God through the Old Testament or even the New Testament, or maybe it's it's just that I need to I need to see my life matching up or not matching up to the ways of Jesus and the ways that God has presented who he is. How is my character aligning or not? These are the things that get exposed in us. So what I would just encourage you to do is, is ask a question maybe in a prayer to God as you start your devotional time and just ask, God, what do you want to expose in me today? What do you want me to see about myself, about you, as I look at your word. Let this word penetrate my heart and fill me up and make me a new person because I'm spending time with you and the words that you have chosen to speak to your people. May you be blessed.